talk, uh, I'd like to tell you a story, a story of uh, an Italian bank founded in 1473. A bunch of uh, passionate young guys, they are trying to build something new. And a dramatically increasing number of customers asking for something new. So just, uh, just let me just briefly introduce Unicredit for those who don't know Unicredit Group. An Italian company, an Italian bank, uh, merged with German largest bank, in, Ipo Finance Bank in 2006, uh, became European bank with uh, nearly 10,000 branches. Half of them are in Italy. Um, Banking operation in 22 countries, nearly 25 million customers. Market leader in Central and Eastern Europe. Big bank. But still, big traditional bank. Branch based. We all know we've been hearing and listening uh, uh, all sorts of uh, trends, mega trends. Now, these things are happening. Uh, and these, are, these trends are happening so quickly, so fast, the change is so fast that we really can keep the pace to work with this. And this, I can say this, inside of my company, in my company, sorry, my department, we struggle to change the way we work to cope with this change. And also, we are moving in a very more difficult environment, and these days are very difficult. So um, we are trying to build something new, and in these days, it's even more difficult because of this. I, I won't go through all the old things that uh, we, we, we know, basically. Uh, Unicredit has been very active in, in Italy in the digitalization uh, journey. Now we've been done, uh, we've done uh, a lot of uh, uh, self-service banking. We distributed, we put in place nearly 8,000 ATMs, half of them with uh, deposit function. We've been uh, uh, developing multifunction kiosks, all things that you've been doing here in the UK for ages. Uh, I used to live here for a while. Market, uh, online, online banking, we are market leader with 23% of market share. The, the, the physical bank is 12% market share. So we're leading the market uh, with two and a half million active users in online banking. We do uh, all sorts of things also in mobile banking, very new, 200,000 customers already using mobile banking. Out of, we're developing uh, new branch formats, you know, the cash light, the cash... Uh, cashless branch for, uh, format with advisory. So all these new things happening in Unicredit in Italy. But our CEO last year said one thing in, a, in a, one of our uh, uh, roadshow in, uh, in the network. He uh, said for retail banking, it is very, very critical to keep in mind that it's important, three things, territory, customer, relationship which is, we all know, this is true. Who can say no, that's not true. My question to you is, is the, the meaning of the territory changing? Is still the territory, you know, the, the old traditional, not old bank, the yesterday I say, old banking, the whole story, or something's changing? I showed you this because Italy is the, the, the lagger in, uh, in Europe. Uh, uh, internet banking penetration is not so high compared to the UK, for example. But it's still going up, no? And you see there, this is the penetration, uh, the, the channels, no? The, the customer who are dealing only through direct channels. Multi-channel banking growing. And branch is decreasingly decreasing. This, you see, is the percentage of customers that are not banking uh, mainly or exclusively through digital uh, channels. So they are living branches. And this, you know, it's happening. But still, what is the territory? It might be this. This is uh, an example of how people is 
buying customer, people like us. We are changing the way we are making decisions, purchase decisions, and eventually the way we get uh, information and then buy things. And this is, uh, the, the difference between traditional marketing and digital marketing is that digital marketing requires that we connect the dots, no? Everything must be connected. So, uh, territory is changing, customer is changing. Uh, you see here, for example, this is the, the, the time spent on social media, which has uh, overcome time spent on portals. This is very important. This means that people are talking more and more online. And this is a highly, a highly valuable opportunity for us. And we will see about that. But again, customer is changing. And there is one thing that is very, very important, I guess, that relationship. The meaning of relationship is changing. No, uh, one thing is that I meet a person, I sit there, and, I, and the, on a personal basis we can build a relationship. But here we are talking about a, a human-to-machine relationship. And now with the iPhones, no, the smartphones, it gets even worse. So re the meaning of relationship is changing. So th this is our Italian uh, site. For, for, for a long period, my peers, my colleagues were saying, okay, yeah, Mr. Carl Franceschi is uh, managing the website. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But is, still, is this uh, only a site? Is this just a site? 2.5 million customers, monthly basis, active. Half a million every day. This is the largest branch in Italy. We are de delivering the branch, the, um, we are delivering the bank. Nearly 100,000 sales lead to the branches. We pass most of them to the branches. This is business, this is serious business. What, so what, what's the story? It's that we are working in a very traditional bank, very branch-based bank. So the culture is is the key element for us to be able to do our, uh, our, our job and get the resources that we need to, to grow. Here you see what was the plan. The plan was to deliver, deliver, deliver. New customers in a very efficient way, demonstrating that acquire, we were able to acquire customers and doing with a consistent growth and doing it's a very, in a very cost-effective way. And then we were able to migrate customer, customers online and then selling, cross-selling, upselling to them. The good thing, and that is very, very important, doing this, we've been rated number one department inside the bank by the branch staff. That was very, very, very interesting. The branch staff, when I first met five, six years ago, the branch people, they were looking at me as the guy that I was stealing their jobs. No, that was, the, that was the, the real thing. And today they are saying online is the number one generating value in the bank because they appreciate the value that we are transferring to the bank. So we are getting the support. We are growing. Now I, say, I can say that we are... Uh, flying on, uh, over the radar uh, screen. We did this. Uh, let's say the, the journey was built acro across through uh, three major uh, steps. Data. We built a very solid measurement platform. Today we don't do anything if we, uh, if we are not able to measure. Processes. Across data, we build processes. And then we went through designing user experience. So this has been the, the journey to deliver results, uh, results to the, in the bank. Yes, we focused eventually as the first step of this uh, journey, we focused on, on the online uh, acquisition. So we had to focus on very different uh, topics, areas, so we built inside the company uh, the skills, the knowledge, the capabilities 
to run all these things. But all across measurement and metrics. Um, we were the very first bank in Italy able to connect what was happening online and offline. We measure, we start measuring what was happening on Google and, and going down to the branch. And we closed the loop, the measurement loop. Uh, so we were very, very, uh, we are very, um, very uh, uh, obsessed that by keeping track of this. But now we can say to the bank that we are uh, dealing with a very different way in investing money. Because we can invest money today, we check if it's uh, going to uh, uh, return on Monday, we stop the campaign, we change the campaign, we effectively, effectively uh, can uh, run different things in a very dynamic way. And the bank is not used to that. <coughs> then it comes to mobile. Um, opportunity or threat? That's very interesting. And so far, to be honest, I don't know. What I know, that in, in Italy, and you see here Italy, the green line, uh, compared to Germany, Poland, and Austria. Uh, Italy is not very well penetrated in terms of uh, internet. But we, what is very different is that in Italy, everyone owns a mobile phone. Half of them owns a, a smartphone with internet connection. And that is the, the curve. You see, that is a, a very interesting possibility. We can achieve uh, a better penetration, distribution of online services across mobile uh, uh, devices. But then, how can we distribute banking services on mobile? Some guys said, okay, yeah, take the banking service and transfer it on a, on a mobile. Personally, I don't think it's the right way to do it. We decided to do something different. We designed mobile banking services as the mobile was the remote control of internet banking. Which means, if I have to make, uh, make, uh, make a, a payment, it will be just a one-click payment. Actually, a three-clicks payment. Less than 30 seconds. Uh, complete control of your money, easy. Uh, for example, customer care. Usually, you call the customer care, you, you go through IVR, no, and you, you stay there waiting for answers. Very annoying. Customer care on this is just a preselection of uh, buttons. And you, the IVR is online, is, uh, is on the mobile. And you can call. And they say, okay, Mr. Call Franceschi, what do you want? I know that you want this. How can I help you? But we pass, we skip the IVR on this. So easy, fast, accessible services. Everyone now talks about social, and this is a pretty irritating to me, to be honest. Uh, yes, everyone. No, oh, you're not. You're not on Facebook with your virtual uh, branch. No, we are not. We're not yet. Possibly. The most important thing, Facebook in Italy, are 18 million Italians talking. So the most important thing to me is listening. We've been listening for two years now. And they are talking about banks, they are talking about Unicredit, they, they are talking about our products. And this is an, a valuable uh, wealth of information that we bring inside, we rework our proposition, and we change. And we do this on a weekly basis. We did change campaigns on a weekly basis, based on what we were listening. In Italy, for example, 41% of people decide which bank, what product, how, where, talking to friends. This is important. So we're doing many things in social, by the way. But uh, really, the important thing is that uh, these changes are enabling the banks to get closer to, the, to, the, to their customers. 
And this is pretty difficult change in the culture, no? Where banks are very in the back of their, uh, of their offices. Um, all this journey took uh, some years. We started in 2005 with content creation. We went through online security. We went to uh, optimization, analytics, uh, uh, cross-selling, online sales, uh, uh, digital signal sales. Uh, then came mo social, mobile. No? This is a very fast changing complexity, which we brought inside the bank. That was a pretty challenge to deal with the HR, with the organization, with the IT. And you see here also how is increasingly changing the organizational aspect. We start just recruiting few young people. We, and we were in the marketing department. Then we went to the sales department as a multi-channel uh, management team. Uh, we went uh, uh, to reorganizing the whole team, uh, the department, and then we were asked to move global. So all this happened in just a few years. We started, we were five, and now we are nearly 100 people across uh, countries. Yet, small team doing a lot of things. Um, yes, basically we have to deal with two customers, online customer, and the internal customer. We have people dealing with user interface to create seamless uh, customer experience online. So they are the specialists to design customer experience online. And here we have people who deal with the marketing, direct, the marketing product uh, uh, people. And they are basically, they are uh, specialized in segments, Demands, product demands, no market uh, uh, competition, all these things. So you see how we are organized today. And then we've been asked to go global, no? to say, OK, let's start working and see how online can be managed across countries. Um, basically, now we are working as, as a, with a centralized team which deals with, uh, um, let's say, uh, designing the user experience in the best way possible, and local teams uh, developing in banking products, uh, web content, campaign, so controlling and managing day-to-day -day, uh, the channels uh, in their banks. And this is the, uh, the organization so far. There is one more thing. Um, this is very interesting to me. These are the percentage of customers that, that use the channel at least weekly over channel users. And you see that branch across different countries, Italy, Germany, and Poland. If you see that customers are not using, even those customers that use branch as their point of reference, don't use branch. And look at that, internet and mobile as, as frequently is used. Now, you all know this, but this is an opportunity. We are much closer to that customer, by far. This is a distribution of uh, revenue per customer and number of customer. There is a lot of customer, not yet, uh, in a valuable position, let's say. Boston Consulting Group has done uh, a research and said that uh, uh, they, they predicted that if we do things well, we can contribute, we could contribute to our bank for 600 to 800 million in net profits. And that is a big, big challenge. It's a big, it's a big challenge, really. Uh, but what we have to deal with in this is culture, resources, infrastructure. As I said, we are moving in an environment where uh, for centuries uh, our bank has been uh, designed, managed uh, across the branch. Resources, we are dealing with limited resources, especially in these times. And the infrastructure is the old story that we have to renew. Uh, so. We are very much focusing on this, uh, on these aspects. 
Thank you very much.